Whoa. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I'm tweaking, hitting the wrong button. Uh, stroll back, stroll back, stroll back, stroll back. Mm, here we go. That's what I want to see. Now we on choppy. Now we on cue. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? What's the deal? You got Icy Mike, PE Boss, once again. Finish some Modern Warfare 3, uh, Domination on Dome. And this is a long gameplay because I got a lot of things on my chest. So let's get into it. Uh, playing the, playing the game with, uh, a couple of my friends and, uh, you know, everything's cool. And, uh, they invited one of the other guys to play, so you no, know, everything was still cool until he got killed. <laughs> Somebody just killed him, or whatever the case may be, and he had an outburst. And the outburst said, "Nigger, not nigger, but nigger." Now, <laughs> everybody knows in the lobby that I'm black, so they know it's just like the room just got quiet all of a sudden. And uh, I didn't flip out. I didn't, you know, I was going to go in on him and just fuck his whole feelings and fuck his whole understanding up. I didn't even do it because I wasn't even in the mood. So I just basically said, um, dude, watch your mouth. Oh, you black? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. <laughs> your apology doesn't mean shit to me. Because <laughs> the ne next day you're going to be doing the same thing over and over again. But he was like, you know, I'm sorry. And, and, and you know, you don't sound black. Pause. Now, what does that mean? Don't sound black. How, uh, what is that? I, I don't understand that. Can somebody shed light on the situation? What does sound? What is sounding black? Is it um, my vocabulary doesn't consist of the word nigga? Uh, what up, nigga? Uh, fuck you, nigga. And is, is that, or is it um, <laughs> the end of my sentence doesn't um, contain? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm playing Modern Warfare, th Modern Warfare 3. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't know what I don't know what sounding black is. I, can somebody tell me what that is? So <laughs> I, I didn't. Even, I should have just went in on dude and, and just fucked this whole understanding up, but I didn't. Uh, I, I, and I said it politely. <laughs> I said it politely. I was like, you know what? Just watch your mouth. You know, and, and just, uh, I was done with it. But uh, and that, that gets me wondering. My so-called friends on my friend list. When I'm not around, do they be dropping the N-word? Or, you know, do they be going in on black people when I'm not around or any other black people around? I, I, I guess me wondering. And I would give them the benefit of the doubt and say no. I would say that. I would just say no. I don't think they would do it. But you never know. You, you never know. <laughs> a bunch of my black friends, we, we, get, we get together. We don't, we don't do that. We don't, I mean, who does that? We we respect one another and we respect all races and that's how we raised up and 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 that's how we carry ourselves. Can you imagine me like playing this game and and somebody and some random guy just killed me and I'm like, damn, this honky just killed me. Fuck, fucking cracker. Like that. If I even hear that, now if I ever even hear a black person, a black gamer, say that, I would actually go in on him. I actually would. That, that is just dumb and stupid, and, and you're just a bigot and you're a racist. So, I mean, I wouldn't even know him from a can of paint. But if I heard him say that, I would just, just like, just really go in on the dude. You know I mean, because you're making us look bad. Why would you stoop to their level? They, they drop the N-word, you know, all day and all night like it's like it's, like it's it's nothing. You know, why would you stoop to their level? You have more respect, and, you know, and, and, and don't stoop to their level. But that's just it's me, and that's how my people that I roll with, that's how we carry ourselves, and we, we don't do shit like that. I mean, I mean we just don't. <laughs> and I don't even use, I'm black, and I don't even use the N-word. I probably, you know, recite it, and, and it probably it's in a rap song or some shit. But I, I don't, my my day-to-day -day language, I, I don't I don't use the N-word, and, and I'm black. I'm the blackest of all black. <laughs> but I don't even use it. I mean, it's just... I leave that to the younger people because I'm in my 30s. I think if you if you older and you still doing shit that you was doing when you was you was a kid, like trying to trying to fit in and try to be cool and trying to have your this young swag, I think you should just hang yourself and kill yourself and and go stand in the corner and and, and play with yourself or whatever the case may be. <laughs> Cause I you can imagine me like I know some rappers does it, but you know it's just the culture and, and the music and you really can't fight that, but. If you're not in the music or whatever, and you, I'm 30. Yeah, hey, nigga. Yeah, nigga, nigga, nigga. What up, nigga? Yeah, that's my nigga. Right, come on, man. I did that shit when I was like 
15, 16. Come on, who does that now? You, you older, man. Come on. But, you know, it is what it is, and what, what can you do? But moving on. <laughs> so, I know a lot of y'all been um, paying attention to YouTube and all these other internet uh, websites, or whatever the case may be, about the unboxing of Black Ops 2. Now, I know all the little kids and all the all, uh, all lames like, ooh, ah, I want to get this. And get, uh, no, I'm not easily impressed because my past experience with the Cold Card franchise, <laughs> it t- taught me better than that. Like, going back to Modern Warfare 2. Now, Modern Warfare 2, the prestige edition, um, you got the night vision goggles. Now, looking at this, Reading about this, and I was like, "Oh, damn! I always wanted some night vision goggles." So yeah, I'm gonna get this the prestige edition and get these night vision goggles. They got me. They got me because it was just unboxing it. It was just this big, bulky plastic, basically. <laughs> Don't get me wrong; it works. I mean, you know, it, it's night vision goggles. It works. It really does works. But it's big. It's bulky. Um, you you have no peripheral vision, so <laughs> you can only see straight, no left and right until you turn your head. So you're actually gonna be running to shit if you use it in real life. Uh, like say, uh, everybody knows I paintball. So if I decided to have a night game of paintball and I try to use these, I would just be an epic fail because I would be running to trees and I'm breaking my nose or <laughs> whatever the case may be because it's so big and bulky. And I'm I'm thinking it's gonna be something stealthy like what the U.S. Army use or whatever, but it wasn't. They got me. And uh, moving on to Black Ops, they gave you that RC car, you know, that kill streak. We driving out the RC car and it, you know, it blows up team, it blows up enemies or whatever. They gave you that. I didn't get it because first of all, I didn't think I was going to enjoy the game, so I wasn't going to spend my my hard earned money on it. Because coming from War at War to uh, Black Ops, I was like, man, War at War was trash, and I'm not going to be on that shit whatsoever. <laughs> uh, so. I didn't, but they gave you this car, and once again, it's a good novelty, because uh, one of my guys who has the car, I went over there and checked it out, and it's slow as shit, the, the car is slow, and it, it's not durable, it looks like some cheap plastic with a motor into it, and I, I didn't see myself spending over $100 for this piece of shit, I just didn't see it happening any other way, so I didn't get it, then moving on to, um, Modern Warfare 3, there wasn't no prestige package. I mean, you spend the extra money to, you know, to get the Call of Duty Elite. But, you know, and uh, once you do that, the, you get uh, this this card. It's actually a founder's card. And uh, you put the code in. If you start a clan up, you put that code in. It gives your uh, clan uh, so many XP points or whatever. I, I didn't feel the need to get that, so I didn't. <laughs> but I ended up getting the Call of Duty Elite. But I wish I would have pre-ordered it at GameStop because they gave away this uh, this four gig uh, USB hard drive at GameStop. It's a Modern Warfare 3 USB uh, hard drive. I wish I would have pre-ordered it then and got that, but I didn't. I was too late, and I would like to use that hard drive as mine. Is currently is filling up, so I need another one. <laughs> but anyway. Um, now moving on to Black Ops 2. Now they're gonna give you this big ass crate. It looks like a care package. So they're gonna give you the as I see, I got a care package right there. <laughs> they're gonna give you a care package, and in this care package is gonna be you know you get the hardened edition, the steel case, and some books. And the biggest surprise is a Dragonfly RC helicopter. But it's not the real helicopter, not the real Dragonfly helicopter because. If you do your research, and you know the real Dragonfly helicopter comes with an HD camera built into it, so you can record some shit while you're flying. Um, I actually, when I, Dragonfly first came out last year, I was actually gonna save my money on this website and, and uh, get this Dragonfly because how cool would it be? You know, because I'm mean, gonna line my cars up, my car clubs up, and uh, and just do an overhead video. That would be sick. Just like that would be sick. But so I was actually was gonna use it, but. Uh, Modern War, uh, Black Ops 3 uh, Black Ops 3 Black Ops 2 is not going to give you the top of the line Dragonfly they're going to give you the entry level and it's just your basic Dragonfly with 
uh, basic uh, RC controls and with no HD camera. So I don't think I'm going to be getting that. A lot of people be like, ooh, oh, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. But if you see the real Dragonfly, you'd be like, man, get that shit out of here. If the real Dragonfly is, is where it's at. And the real Dragonfly costs uh, over 200 bucks. So I don't see uh, Modern Warfare. Why I keep saying this? I don't see Black Ops 2. Um, doing that anytime soon, especially this is going to be the entry level, it's probably the prestige pass is going to be like 150 so yeah, they're not going to give you the one with the HD camera uh, moving on to the last topic uh, as you can see this gameplay I lost my mojo, I lost my mojo, as Alistair Powell would say, I lost my motivation, and I just don't know what it is. I wasn't motivated in playing this game, I know I said I wasn't going to be playing this game as much, but um I don't know what it is. Uh, you see, it, I'm, I'm just playing conservative. And to my uh, my clanmate Ninja, he was like, "Man, I might, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna win streak." So he said, I want to win. Step it up, step it up. You're not yourself. And so I had to turn around and, and you know just come out my, out my shell and just try to deliver for the team because you know we was down, we was down and out, and we ended up winning by like two points at the end. But you know, I I don't know what it is. Is it because you know a lot of my friends and. Uh, Clan may start school, so they're not gonna be on as much. So I'm probably doing shit solo dolo, or is it because uh, I'm just tired of this game? I don't know, but I felt I, I said I wasn't gonna play in this game, but I found my mojo back now because I said uh, I want to be in the top 1,000 on the leaderboard of domination. I'm currently at 3,000, so I think that's gonna be my motivation to get me started playing because I want to be in the top 1,000. Before my before Black Ops come out, and by me not playing, by me playing conservative, I still good, still good on the leaderboards. Yeah.